Let's say he casts a third volcanic strength. Can't attack. So good double far so you can hit two lands, which seems pretty good to me, so that would leave us. I mean we could also sink extrapolation for two, but we might might not even hit a land. I think I like the idea of hitting the lands more. So it's gonna do this. Um get a godless shrine. Go green, get a pallet fountain, and just pass a turn. So if I evict creatures, leaves me with a beast and him with nothing. I could just Sphinx's his revelation for a lot, and that seems pretty good too. Uh, five. Yeah, I think we'll just Sphinx's his revelation for a lot. Actually, we may as well just. Do we want to do it now, or... I'm, I'm a little wary of Skullcrack, but at the same... Do I want to discard cards? I'm going to go up to five. I only have to discard one card, so it's not that bad. Yeah, it's worth it. So we'll probably just pitch... Temple Garden. All those other cards seem pretty relevant. Fireheart Wolf. Yep, that's what I'm hoping for. I just want to evict creatures now. Uh, black, white. Four, five, uh, six. Could have bashed and used Selesny Tron now that I think about it. Like if he tried to block with that, um, actually that would have been a good idea. That was dumb of us. And by us I mean me. And this is all fine. These are not doing a lot of damage. Yeah, we're probably gonna play two Thrag Tests this turn. Go ahead and bash. Let's just concede. I don't know how many matches I've played against Red Deck Wins where I played four Thrag Tusks and lost.
So if I bash with everything, see how it blocks. Yeah. So if we um, trample this and then seven. Yeah, we may as well put the pyre heart on top of his library, right? So trample the hell rider? No, we want to do lethal. So we trampled this guy, which is no, we have to trample... What do we want to put on top of his library? Probably the Hellrider, because he has to like, tap out for that. So, green, white. And then we'll... I mean, yeah, this is like, we even have syncopate to counter anything, and I don't think there is anything. Not to mention, like, look at his board. <laughs> slow on the draw. Faith Menders definitely come in. I think the only thing we do in this matchup is that, but I'm wondering about the Syncopates. I kind of like Syncopate for one, because like, you can snipe out some uh, Hell Riders and stuff sometimes. Um, Merciless Eviction isn't terrible, but we don't, th we don't want too many of them. Witch Pain or meh. I think we just run with that. That seems pretty solid. I'm not too scared of this matchup. I mean, Red Deck Wins is a powerful deck. Um, it's one of the... Red Deck Wins is usually a deck to consider in every single standard metagame, but um, in this metagame especially, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I kind of want to mulligan this because I don't have a turn 2 play, but... Um, I mean, I have some of the the best opener cards in my hand, so if, if I do rip a shock land, and he molds, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to mulligan this. He absolutely could, like, nut curve on us with a reckless wave, but, uh... I don't know, I mean, it's hard to mull a hand that has far seek and... Okay, as long as that's not a reckless wave. I'm going to play that first. I like running out Hinterland Harbor or Breeding Pool first because it hits both your Farseek and your Augur, whereas green white doesn't hit. I mean, blue and green is what you need for every single two drop, so. Uh, let's run that out. So we could run Augur out there, we could also just like Selesnya Charm and block one of his Cacklers. This is getting kind of big. Although once it gets to 5 we can Selesnya Charm it, so I think we're just going to run the Augur out there. Although we could drop a land Farseek and then Thrag Tusk next turn, we take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just play Thrag Tusk, Thrag Tusk. Um, I kind of like that far C strategy. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're just going to go back up five more, so yeah. So we're gonna get a godless shrine off of this. 
now and we're 